Hey everyone, this is Christine Javier, and today I am going to work on free code camps, repeat a string, repeat a string. So essentially here you're given two arguments, the first of which is a string, and uh, the second argument, num, represents the amount of times you want to repeat the string. So just a quick look at the test case to see what that's about. Let's say we have there the asterisk, um, and the number three, you want to return the asterisk three times. and yeah, that essentially holds true for all these cases. All right, so let's get started. I'm just going to copy this into my text editor. All right, so um, for this one, I found to be just so straightforward that I felt making my solution any more complex than it had to be would just be unnecessarily counterintuitive. Um, while it is my goal to practice using a lot of different JavaScript methods, sometimes I just have to embrace the idea that we should just crank out a solution that works and is simple to read and just makes the most intuitive sense. So that's the way I'm approaching this uh, solution this time around. Um, so, the, so essentially here what I'm going to do, my mind immediately jumped to using a while loop. Um, and yeah, you're just going to append onto an empty string uh, the string uh, x amount of times or num amount of times. So what I want to declare first is an empty string. Let's call it answer string and it shall be an empty string and at which we'll append to a num amount of times the str variable. All right and you don't want to return str you want to return answer string. So now for this um, let's make the while loop while num is less than um, while num is greater than zero, I should say, we shall append onto str, answer str, the str variable, and we're going to decrement num each time. So I just want to see how that looks like. Let's see, I want to take out the semicolon. There we go. It repeats three times. Let's uh, just put in a random number six. Okay. Yep, that works. Um, let's just try zero. What happens there? Zero is good. Negative one, what happens there? Okay, returns nothing. And I think that's what the instruction sh said. Return an empty string if num is a negative number. Okay, let's see. Um, Let's see, return, I think that would work. Answer string is empty after all. All right, so let's go ahead and test that. Cool, it totally works. Um, yeah, let's, I just wanna go back and show you one line I m might have changed, but it essentially works the same functionally. So instead of this plus equals here, you could use the concat method and that should work the exact same way let me console.log that let's see let's do three answer.concat str all right and I think this is due to the immutability of strings so you want to set equal to answer string itself um, yeah it's just the notion that you can't just change strings without like assigning it to a variable. So this should work. There we go. Okay, and that should work the same way. Let me test that just to make sure. Cool, and it totally works as well. All right, so hopefully that helped you. Uh, again, I realize that this solution is really just quite simple, but you know, I feel like the problem is just so simple that to complicate it is to do it injustice. Okay. All right. Have a good day.